How's it going everybody? This is Ruby, and this is episode 108 of my Feed the Beast Machine tutorial series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Blast Furnace from Rotary Craft. So the basic user interface for this machine is pretty basic. Uh, over here it's going to be your temperature gauge. The Blast Furnace requires to be 600 Celsius before it will start processing iron into HSLA steel ingots. Uh, right here is where your coal or gunpowder will go. These nine slots are for iron ingots. It can hold up to nine stacks. Here's your progress bar for the conversion into HSLA steel. And then these three slots here are for the HSLA steel themselves. Uh, so you can notice nine slots for iron, but only three slots for steel. You will need to have some kind of system to pump it out of the blast furnace so that you don't get overloaded with steel because the machine will just stop working then. If we go ahead and take a look at the building recipe, it's pretty simple. It's just eight stone bricks and a piece of redstone. Let's go ahead and move on to the automation. This machine is very, very basic. So under this machine here, I have a piece of lava, and you can see that it's heated up to 640 Celsius. You can also see that it's invalid or missing items, and that's because we only have coal and we only have gunpowder in here. We don't have any iron. If we were to go ahead and let's just grab some iron real quick and throw that in there, you can see that the progress bar is going to go ahead and start going, and you can see on the, on the Wyla tip that it's operational. After it is done processing, it's going to come over here into one of these slots, like so. And we have some item ducts set up here with servos, set to ignored redstone, so it'll automatically pump the HSLA steel out of there. So if we go ahead and wrench this around, and we then do ignored redstone. So what, is, what this is going to do is we have coal, we have gunpowder, and we have iron in here. So what this is actually going to do is continually pump stuff in here. And for this one, I chose to just do a single thing. Uh, honestly, in the future, I would recommend maybe doing two different automation setups. One for coal, because as you can see, they get stuffed in there. So if we just take this, there we go. It'll go ahead and put all the iron into here for us, and it'll fill it up nicely. That is going to be it for today's tutorial. If you have any questions about this machine, feel free to leave it down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer your questions. If this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it, a rating would be very much appreciated. And subscribe. As always, I have new Feed the Beast videos coming out almost every other day, if not every day. Thank you.